on, yeah. Yeah, I'll make a squirt, yeah, oh. balls. <laughs> The 240SX is a sports car introduced to the North American market by Nissan in 1988 to be America's number one drift missile. Although it is long out of production, fanboys continue to whet their insatiable appetite for royally fucking up the design and function of a car. This example of degeneracy includes poorly applied plasti dip, epoxy used to mask structural flaws, a clapped out engine, and various gauges of power wire running the length of the car which were used to power an amp presumably to blast tunes from popular artists such as 21 Savage. Now in the care of a guy that looks homeless, this 240SX will be stripped down and rebuilt to live another life. Probably. So this is a 1990... what? Two, I think. 1992 convertible 240SX that Zach acquired for free. Uh, without stealing. He was Somebody gave, gave this to him. So. Today, I guess we're going to be completely gutting this thing um, to assess the damage and figure out what path this car will take. Okay, we've already started work. Boom! Check out that All head right. mount. And it's hot as balls, but we got this sweet canopy to shale, shield us from Satan's wrath. Alright. So, the interior of this is actually not terrible. Um, there's a little bit of surface rust, nothing bad, but nothing cancerous. On the inside. The engine bay is a little different. One kind of terrifying feature is this. Oh god. Yeah. How this is kind of just separating from the frame rail. And at some point somebody epoxied the engine mount to the cross member. Or epoxied over the cross member or something so yeah professional um so that's that that could suck like if the cross members messed up that well that just means getting a new cross member but yeah so we're gonna continue to disassemble things and get this thing totally stripped down and gutted <laughs> yeah that does sound really good of course it's not a 17. uh I don't even know if this is gonna fit over that, but yeah, I think it's a 19. Oh, dude, that transmission's just like jangling everywhere. Perfect. It's not like anything could do some oil, though. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yay! Okay, that's all. Okay. An hour and two Nissan and chill, and I already want to fucking destroy this thing. Ugh. Oh, dude, that. Oh, it's le What are you doing? Oh. I'm making sure. We're plugging the holes in so it leaks in the trunk. Oh. So let's wait for it to drain now. Does the water oh feel nice? God. Actually. What? Wait, is it going to drain the trunk? I hear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Faster ecosystem. <laughs> Probably have like fucking AIDS. <laughs> yeah, because that's how you get AIDS. Well, I, think so. I think so. I'm not a doctor, but I, I might be. Well. It sounds nice and tranquil. I know, but it might fall. My 240 has a water feature. <laughs> we got a waterfall in my car. Oh, I wish this thing would come off. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh so, any uh, 240 owners out there, you're probably going to look at this and be like, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to take this off, and I can't. So I'm going to take this off, and I already took the other things off. But, yeah, so we're going to see how this goes. Ugh. Okay, so I'm done. You just have to lower the whole steering column to remove it. Kill me. Okay. Oh. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh there yeah. Go, Make a great success. Well, I'm gonna cut some lines. Oh, oh, yeah. Give me some pliers. Give me those pliers right there. Oh uh, yeah. Dikes. Close your eyes, kitties. Yeah, Somebody's probably gonna like be on YouTube and be like, holy fuck, <laughs> why did they cut those? They can't buy those anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. 
You only YOLO sometimes. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. You wasn't squirted a little bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah make a squat, yeah. Oh, oh. Squat, yeah. Oh, uh, juicy. Cool. What? Oh. 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 There you go. You got a dive. Back turn. <laughs> <laughs> There's more than two hydraulic lines on this thing. So I guess Zach has recently uh, decided this will no longer have a top. Floor it. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna come off the studs. Come forward with it. Forward? Uh, pull here. Without Straight smashing out. this, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Trying not to smash the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you have to grab underneath. See where the. No, just. It, it's fine where it's at. You just gotta. Yeah. Cool. You like a good? <laughs> well, yeah, we found uh, like some wasps in the car, so now it's just time to drink a beer. This looking at this trying to figure out how to like make the interior somewhat polished without an interior. Right. Um, spray it. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, with all this uh -huh. bullshit with the yep. rear seats, I like to take out. The problem is it's all like it's gonna look weird. It's fucking yeah, it's gonna look weird, and it's all welded in. It's not a true bolt-in piece. True. Unless I just well, flat top behind it. And what? Then, yeah, you know, or you just put in, you know, flat panels everywhere to cover up holes, and then it's a little more useful. Yeah. You know? Yeah, just do some sheet aluminum or whatever. Exactly. Bend them and. It'd be good to coat that with something that's not raw aluminum, so you're not like baking, oh, you know, yeah, with the yeah. sun, with it the reflecting off of you. That would be uh, insane. Sure do. I found a diamond ring, a diamond all the way around it, $3,800. We went and bought a car with it. As a damn depart, you get there with a car. Coins and boys bought it. But they kind of beat us out of our mind a little bit. You know how that is, you know? Oh, they just put on the drum. Yeah. <laughs> Say, uh. Oh, that's that water bottle. Y'all can do it. Okay. Now we're fucking doing wiring. Yeah. Oh, and that fucking thing again. That, oh, kill it. Dash out for Harambe. And just like rip out this excess speaker bullshit. Man, it, it kills me how people do wiring stuff. Like, the fact that you can just do that. Yeah. Well, that and like it's always just like random gauges of whatever the fuck's laying around and all twist taped together and then it's on the side of the road on fire. So, question. What is to become this 240? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, it'll probably end up like every other 240 and kind of get hacked together and maybe go sideways a bit. Yeah. If it doesn't fall apart first. Hmm. Um, all of the wasps will end up not using it as a home anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, the wasp nests are gone now, so that's that's super good. Yeah, they're all like all looking for where they I mean they were kinda of chill though. They don't don't bother anybody. Yeah, but it was just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess at this point it's still just a matter of tearing things apart and becoming yeah. more and more disheartened at the status or the condition of this car. Yeah, the, the next big step I think will be getting into the suspension and seeing just how completely fucked all that is. Um, if there's, you know, this, uh, so far, I mean, the actual strut towers don't look like they're about to fall out. Um, up front, I mean, yeah, there's that one, you know, subframe cross member, but that's really it. As long as we can, like, put a cage in this and have it stiff enough that it'll, like, work, 
That's all I really care about. Yeah, I think that'll happen. So what about the engine? Still, still gonna be a KA? Probably, yeah. Just because, I mean, even if this was in perfect shape, putting anything else in it, like, I've been offered a cheap LS motor. The problem is I'd still need manifolds and an oil pan and a transmission and cross members and motor mounts and probably a rear end and all that. And um, I really don't want to put five or six grand into this making it an LS car. Yeah, so, you know, after looking at the condition of this car, it's just not worth that. Even, I mean, disregarding the condition, like if it was perfect, it's still, it's just a lot of money to make that happen, even if you get a cheap motor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the engine will start off cheap, but yeah, like you mentioned, it's all the other parts you have to get that really make the cost of the build a lot higher than one would have initially thought. Exactly, and I mean, a stripped 240, do I really need more than, you know, 200 of the wheels, let's say? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Um... Could I get there easier with a V8? Yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, you could take a relatively stock one and it would work, but the dual overhead cam KA, as long as I put it together properly, shouldn't have a problem either. Yeah. And I already have all that, so it's just a matter of, you know, a few hundred bucks to put it together. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm dead, yeah. Fuck this. This is dumb now. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Until next time. Y no eres feliz Y en tu soledad Hay que acordarás de mí Volverás a mi cama Al calor de mi almohada Volverás a mi lado Porque sabes muy bien Que conmigo en la cama En que sábana y sábana yo te amaré Volverás a mi cama Al calor de mi almohada Volverás a mi lado Porque sabes muy bien Que conmigo en la cama Entre sábana y sábana